the Welcome Collection. Just five minute walk from Euston Station, the destination for the incurably curious. <laughs> Welcome to the weird and wonderful. Children are naturally curious and this is the perfect museum for them. Come on, let me show you around, it's brilliant. Mummy, look, there's an upside down person. Oh look, it's Anthony Gormley hanging around. Right, so this is the creepy room. Are you ready to go in the creepy room? creepy room. It's amazing. There's some good weird stuff in here. You <gasps> Whoa. Mummified male body. God, look at that. We found it. King George's hair. The lock of the hair said to be King George III. <laughs> For some reason I thought it was going to be black hair. Why did he go mad? Apparently the madness was caused by arsenic. They tested his actual hair at the Science Museum and they found traces of arsenic in it. He was treated with medicine that had arsenic in it. Another theory is the wigs he wore had traces of arsenic in it. Nice. And even the walls were painted with arsenic. The guy had no chance. So Henry Welcome was so rich he just went to auctions and um, bidded for stuff. That's how he had such a massive collection. I suspect it's quite um, addictive. Thank you. Everything in here makes you go, ooh, interesting. Hi, Daddy. Hello, Henry. Welcome. Hi there. So this is the guy whose collection it is, so Henry, welcome. He made millions by inventing the first compressed medicine tablet and he left behind 1.5 million books, objects and artefacts. <gasps> He's a quite a cool guy. Apparently they've got Napoleon's toothbrush here. Come on, let's go and find it. I found it. <gasps> oh my gosh, you have as well. I've been looking for this. Napoleon's toothbrush. Wow, that's quite long, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Charles Darwin's walking stick. <gasps> oh, can see a skull on the top. That makes sense. Victorian naturalist Charles Darwin's known to stride with a walking stick. Okay, first floor, the medicine man room. <gasps> I love this. Massive giant body. What a better way to learn about internal organs. Here. Yeah. <gasps> hey, Austin. When you eat, where does your food go? Tummy. Tummy. It's called the... Stomach. The stomach. Ooh. Yes. Your stomach is. Oh. Oh. There it is. <gasps> it's quite high up. No. No. No, there's legs and feet. Wow, what do you think is happening here? I think it's a dead person. It's not a real person, it's a bit of modern art. But it is supposed to be a person. Is that person fat or thin? Um, fat. Do you think that person would be happy? No. No. It's quite sad, isn't it? Let's see. John Isaac, I can't help the way I feel. This is quite shocking to see. As soon as you read the title of the piece, it's really sad. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> the leg bone connected to the knee bone. The knee bone's connected to. Why is the head where the thigh bone is? It's like funny bones. Yeah. <laughs> Plastination. Body sliced. Nice. Where is the stomach? Oh, well, the stomach. We looked at the stomach. The stomach was quite high up, wasn't it? Look, you can see the brain. You can see the bones. Oh, look, this is nice. It's what people used to look like ten years ago. 
random things that you can really learn. Look, I wonder what you'll look like in 10 years' time. <laughs> We've just been given a young explorer's guide. Hmm, welcome to my collection, young explorers. Do you like my moustache? This floor is really peaceful. The reading room. You could do a good tummy time with children here. I love the way they've got real science equipment next to art. This is made out of milk powder. Made, made out of milk? Yes, yeah, made out of milk powder. Milk powder. Oh, interesting. Mummy. Oh, yeah. Look at this, Mummy. Yeah, what is it? Oh, that looks painful. What's happening? I don't know. Taking out the tooth? Taking out the tooth. Why is it taking out the tooth? Oh, maybe it's rotten. Maybe it hurts. Maybe it needs pulling out. You've even got a craft, arts and crafts. So you can make your own uh, bacteria or disease. What are you going to make, Austin? Are you going to make a brain? That's it, you find the hole. So Austin's making a stomach. <laughs> You're making a stomach. Yeah. Do you know where your stomach is? Yeah. Your tummy, where your food is. where your food goes. So when you're hungry, you've got an empty stomach. There you are. There's your stomach. <laughs> this place is so chilled. People are either playing games, reading, mostly reading, just looking at detail. You can see why it's called the Welcome Collection, because there's so much detail going on. It just really makes you smile. Love it. Children love it. We've been here for ages, yeah. second floor. Ooh, and then an eye. <laughs> wow, you've made a face, look. Hey, that's a funny face, I like that. I've noticed this, sort of, this is the sort of place that everyone just walks around smiling. <laughs> Certainly, um, curious minds. <gasps> I can hear it. Can I <laughs> it's really try? fast. Can you hear your heart? <laughs> can you hear your heart? <gasps> yeah. Bum 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 bum. There's something really exciting about hearing your own heart. I love all the scientific books here. It's really interesting. Rodent disease. Look, the death mask of Beethoven. It just shows you how lucky you are when you're fit and healthy. There's so many diseases out there. And I'm pleased I'm living in uh, the 21st century. One of those museums where you go, hmm, I like it. What is it? What's that for? So finally, if you exit through the gift shop, which I recommend you do, you could pick up a few um, Christmas stocking fillers. A nerve cell. Nerve cell? E. coli, DNA. Oh, this is the best one. MRSA, look. Superbug. Lyme disease, anyone? It's a common cold. Crabs. <laughs> Placement body parts, yummy. Ooh, it's really weird. I can see like a fly. Does everything look strange? Right, so we've shown you around the Welcome Museum. I hope you enjoyed it. There's always a temporary exhibition going on as well. So everything's free. And Ooh, check the website then. <laughs> Say that again. Check the website then. Check the website, that's right. Subscribe. Watch us explore London. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Work hard. Work hard. And long live the NHS. Yeah. Right, come on then, my little wolf cubs.